stainless steel, a material most of us take for granted. Because of this extraordinary metal, we have buildings, refineries, infrastructure, and sophisticated medical instruments. But what gives stainless steel its impressive heat and corrosion resistant properties and glossy appearance? A unique mineral called chromite. Chromite can only be added to the steel making process after it is combined with a fluxing agent and carbon reductant to create an alloy known as ferrochrome. Currently, most chromite products needed to supply worldwide stainless steel demand are produced in Kazakhstan, South Africa, and India, countries with abundant chromite deposits. China has significant ferrochrome furnace capacity, but lacks the quality chromite material to supply all its needs. Because there are no economically viable chromite deposits, stainless steel makers in North America must import most chromite products from South Africa. But this makes transportation costly and leaves producers exposed to social and economic uncertainties. Cliffs Natural Resources, an international mining and natural resources company, expects to change this geographic imbalance by producing an anticipated 600,000 tons of ferrochrome and 1 million tons of chromite concentrate starting in 2015. Cliffs controls three world-class chromite deposits in an area known as the Ring of Fire in northern Ontario, Canada. With geology similar to the mineral-rich Bushveld region in South Africa, this newly explored area is potentially home to many minerals, including platinum group metals, copper, and nickel. To date, Cliff's chromite deposits are the area's first discovered Tier 1 assets. The deposits are extensive, thick, and of high quality. They also have the potential to support production in excess of 80 years. The company anticipates mining its Black Thor deposit first because of its ability to be mined via open pit. The deposit is generally located near surface, making initial open pit extraction easier and likely more cost effective. Cliffs expects to build a near mine beneficiating plant to process the crude ore into concentrate. With decades of experience in iron ore mining and beneficiating, Cliffs plans to process chromite ore using similar methods. Here's a quick look at the beneficiating process. Crude ore is trucked from the pit for crushing and screening and then conveyed to the plant. Once reduced in size, lump ore is separated from fines using heavy media separation. The fines are then sent through a series of cyclone and spiral separation equipment. Here, gravity helps separate chromite from waste material. These chromite products can now be processed into ferrochrome or direct shipped to other ferrochrome producers. Transportation to move product to market could include an all-weather road or a railroad. Routes to the west or directly south are under review. Each option would connect up with existing rail transportation. Using this network, chromite concentrate could be shipped west to Prince Rupert, British Columbia and on to Asia to ferrochrome producers there. To create ferrochrome, Cliffs expects to construct an enclosed electric arc furnace facility near a city or town with grid power and establish trucking and shipping routes. A location near the Great Lakes could be ideal. An enclosed arc furnace offers key advantages over other processing methods. 
Electrical energy is used to reduce the metal in a controlled, measured, and precise manner. Ultimately, Cliffs anticipates producing 1 million tons of chromite concentrate and 600,000 tons of ferrochrome annually for Asian, North American, and European steel markets, positioning the company as a major international producer. While feasibility is ongoing and regulatory approvals are required before development and mining begin, production is anticipated to start in 2015 and grow to be the Incliff's expanding portfolio of steel-making raw materials. Key elements are in place. World-class deposits amenable to open pit mining. With access to grid power and transportation. Located in Canada, a AAA rated country with low investment risk and sound infrastructure. Elements expected to position cliffs in the lowest half of the cost curve. Stainless steel demand has increased worldwide in recent years, with ferrochrome pricing rising since 2005 and reaching well over $1 per pound. Low-cost production in a favorable pricing environment is expected to result in a long-term significant revenue-generating business for Cliffs. With a legacy tracing back to 1847 and an aggressive growth strategy since 2005, Cliffs Natural Resources is positioned to capture new markets. It serves customers around the globe with high-quality steel-making materials. Sustainable development, including environmental responsibility, is a core value. Cliffs is committed to earning its social license to mine and operate. Reclamation plans are built into every project and can be seen firsthand at wetland reserves on former mine sites, such as the Republic Wetlands and Miller Creek Reserves. Discussions with governments, First Nations groups, and other key stakeholders are critical to success of the project. Cliffs Natural Resources, leveraging world-class assets, over 150 years of technical experience, and opportunistic supply-demand fundamentals to uncover value beneath the surface.